Hey everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're do, going to be doing a really quick art journal page looking at stenciling onto the denim in your Dina Wakely journal. I'm starting off with some gloss spray um, through a stencil onto my denim page and um, the stencil I'm using is one from Stencil Girl. <laughs> I was trying to find a page that I could put the excess um, ink on without um, making a mess on my page but I really loved how that transferred over and because I dropped some ink on my other page that I've got there I decided to add some extra sprinkles on because that's how my journals roll. I actually <laughs> really liked the um, little sprinkle of red through it. So I, once I've done that I'm just going to sort of blot it off in my page and I decided that I would use I was going to say I decided to use that page, but I went back to the original page. I did try it off before I closed it though. Um, because you're working on denim or any material, it does take a little while for those um, paints to dry. So just make sure if you want to close it immediately, you put something in between it um, just to make sure that you know it doesn't spread around. So I've got this leafy stencil, which I really liked. Um, and I'm just stenciling through with white so because the page is quite dark and you'll notice that the red onto the um, blue obviously turns a much darker color um, so I just wanted to lighten up the page just a little bit and I'm going through just randomly stenciling over the top so stenciling onto the denim is exactly the same as stenciling onto paper you may find you need a slightly more paint um, to get a good coverage but to be honest it doesn't need to be perfect you can see that's a little bit patchy it's just to get the impression there and the biggest thing about stenciling whether on paper or fabric whatever you're doing less paint is more you can always put another coat of paint over but if you put too much paint onto your sponge that's when you're going to have stuff seeping through underneath and you're going to get the sort of ugly spread marks and so on so make sure that when you're stenciling um, you don't have paint sitting on top of your surface of the thing you, you know, whether it's a sponge or a brush or whatever, you don't have paint sitting on the surface because that's where it gets trapped underneath. So I decided I wanted to have something bright and cheerful on this page. So I turned to these beautiful cutouts from Scrap FX, which is an Australian company. And these designs are made by... Um, or designed by, sorry, Michelle Logan, who is an amazing Australian artist. Um, if you don't follow her on Instagram or on Facebook, I suggest you um, look her up because her work is just amazing. Um, I think on Facebook she goes by Happy Mess. Oh, she may go under that on Instagram too, but I'm pretty sure it's Michelle Logan on Instagram. And you can see her fabulous artwork. So the thing I love about these little faces is she um, just has a beautiful way with line work so in the close-up at the end you'll sort of see on the face it's got these beautiful little lines to do the shading on it it's so simple but they're just so effective the other thing about those pages is you've got some great quotes on them so I like um, this one be reasonable do it my way because you know just do it my way <laughs> It'd be much easier in the end um, so I really like that. I also added on a little um, washi heart just to again add something to to the figure. I, I don't know what it is about me but I tend to if I've got a figure on a page I tend to add a heart to it. It's, it's just how I roll. I'm now going in with some paint pen and I'm picking up the colours that have been used in the background as well. So I'm putting in a little bit of turquoise, I'm putting in a little bit of pink, just to sort of pick up the colours that are throughout the image um, that Michelle has designed, which I really like doing. So, you know, just because you cut out an image, whether it be a printable or, you know, from collage paper, collage tissue, whatever you've got, doesn't mean that you have to leave it like that. You can always alter it in some way, shape or form. So here is the close-up at the end. You can see the stenciling on the denim is really, really easy and effective, whether you use the gloss sprays or just normal paint. And by adding a, you know, printout, printable, collaged image over the top, just helps to tie it all together. So you've got this 
you know, girl floating in a forest, which I really, really love. So I hope you have a go at working on your denim pages. Try breaking out the stencils on them. Until next time, bye for now.